Okay, so let's talk a little bit about efficiency. So we have a couple timers running. One is for when the laser beam light will kick on and the other is for when the crosshair will go off. And so while it works and for the most part these timers and everything are working just fine, sometimes they can get out of sync. But more importantly, we're being redundant by um, having more than one timer in the situation. We could link these timers. And you could set a variable uh, that says, okay, this is on, and then it, and then it uh, switches them both. But, um, you know, some, somebody might say, okay, we'll, we'll use, a, use a bool or something like that. However, uh, I think our best option here, since we're going to be doing um, future things with the uh, crosshair uh, or identification things, we're going to be want to be a lot more specific. So to do that, we're going to use what's called an enumerator. So let's go into our third person blueprint, go into blueprints and let's create one. And all it is an enumerator is assigning words to numbers. So that way you can say in situation zero, do this in situation one, do that in situation two, do this. Um, and that's all it is. It's very, very simple concept, but it's very, very powerful. So I don't remember if I explained them to you or not, so I just went ahead and did it again. So right click over here, go into blueprints and go into enumeration. Okay, and just call it, um, I don't know, crosshair state. Double click on it and click on new. And for the first one, we can name it uh, gray. Add another one and name it green. Okay, and th those will be uh, our two enumerators for our uh, different states. So let me save these file, save all. And uh, that's all it is. So gray will have the value of zero and green will have the value of one. Pretty simple concept and we'll call this crosshair state. So we can close that. Let's go into our third person character and let's see where we're gonna use this. So we wanna use it where we actually change the crosshairs color. So let's make a variable and we'll call it uh, uh, crosshair, I think we can get away with calling it crosshair state and the, and the type is gonna be crosshair state. Okay, bring it over here and just say set. Now you'll get a drop down. Uh, so you notice the dim cross color. Uh, dim is what we had for gray, and it's a drop down. So you could select gray or green, and that's all it is. Uh, very simple, but it's a lot easier than saying, oh, what was zero again? What was one again? And that way you know. So now when you set this variable, you're setting it to gray under this condition. And this is done in the character as opposed to in the weapon. Um, so then we set our color down here again um, when it's green. So get your crosshair state, go to set, bring it up here and go to green. So you set your crosshair, green, gray, there may be more conditions. I don't think so though. I think that's that. So compile and save, save all. Now go into your weapon actual master and we have all this stuff going on and we have another timer going on and it's really, it's really redundant. We don't need to do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to wherever we see something having to do with the timer and we're gonna disable it. Um, and I know I just had you do this in the last tutorial, but I kind of wanted to show you alternatives in case you want to make things differently than me. So get this laser timer, uh, break, break the link here because we we're not going to need to reset it because we're not going to use it. And then over here is where we actually set the timer. And I'm just looking at my, referring to my notes. And at, this is going to be the point at which we can disconnect and here we should be able to engage the, uh, the enumerator. So you just drag off here and say switch on 
crosshair state, and that's the enum that we made. Okay, so um, you're like, okay, well, this is gray, this is green. How do I how do I automate this to come out over here? Your character has the variable crosshair state on it, and we're gonna get that from our reference to our character right here. So you just drag off here. You say get cross hair, oops, get crosshair state, and you want to get the variable, which is this one, not this one, or any other one, just the variable. And then when the crosshair state on the character changes, the crosshair state on the um, on uh, this thing here is going to change. On the uh, this is by the way the the laser beam that we made. Okay, so now to, we're starting to get a little messy here, so we're going to have to clear things up. Okay, so when we're gray, which is the top one, we're going to go straight into the um, top variable right here, and we can bypass all of this stuff. Okay, break your links here. All right, and now we've just bypassed all that stuff. Copy these, control C, control V. All right, break this here, because it's that's the reset to the timer. This is an engaged. Set this to true, and then just simply drag this up here to true. Okay, that should be how we have it in the earlier bool settings. So when we come down here to green, that should set it right there. So I may have missed something, but see how it's true. Check mark, check mark, true, check mark, check mark, and then uh, false, unchecked, check mark. And that should s set this without any timers. Let's go ahead and double check before we start deleting stuff. Compile, save, save all. And we're on our client. Okay, that looks pretty good. So before, sometimes I was able to be so qu <laughs> so quick. I was able to be quick enough I could get the timers a um, little bit out of sync and it was noticeable. Uh, but now they're at the same timer. Whenever the crosshair turns, so shall the laser beam. At least it should. Oh, okay. Sometimes when it's a rounded structure like a face it, or a body, it, it has trouble showing up. But it's there. And that's just a way to use enumerators to link things. So now we can kind of clean up, carefully clean up the stuff that we're not using so all of these clear and invalidate timers, uh, clear and invalidate timer by handle, we can delete that. We can uh, delete um, this, different targets, I believe. A laser timer event, this, all of this. This right here, that may be, and then finally you can, hold on, compile, save, take our laser timer, let's see if we can delete this. Okay, cool. So it's no longer, it'll, it's not giving you any warning, uh, but look at how much more efficient this is being. Uh, it, it, it checking whether our laser is appropriately set. So, Compile, save, save all. And we did a dedicated, let's do a non-dedicated real quick. Let's see what we have. Okay, it's coming up. And then let's also check it with the laser sight. Um, see, I have it on owner no C and only owner C. 
we want to make it so the own the owner does see so uncheck this and this should give us the whole the whole uh, shebang on the laser beam with the really bright one so you can see it on this monitor come over here there you go now you can see what's going on with the full laser beam the server he can't see it which means nobody can see it uh, we're going to test him too while we're here okay and he is going to the right spot he's uh, having a little trouble because that character is right behind him the camera keeps bumping in and out but yeah that looks that looks about right let me check here Ah, oh, that's kind of a tough angle. There it goes. Okay, so it looks like it's going efficiently. Um, um, on the next video, we're going to go and finish up all of this. We've done a lot of coding, so we have to do a little bit of debugging. Um, now, I'm sure there's stuff in here that I've had on accident as bugs, but there's definitely one that was on purpose that I saved because it's it's a big one and i want to make sure that um, it's covered in length because it's kind of a complex feature so i'll see you on the next video